Hi folks, this is Jason. <clears throat> Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. We're looking at the great creeds of the church. And so we're going to look at some of the great creeds that have, have been a blessing to the church over the centuries. One of the great creeds is the Nicaea Creed. Very important creed. And um, I'm going to read it to you. He says, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men of our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit, of the Virgin Mary, was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and I believe on the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I, Luke, for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We'll look at the Apostles' Creed. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, and I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. and the Chalcedon Creed. Following then the Holy Fathers, we unite in the teaching of all men to confess the one and only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. This selfsame one is perfect both in deity and in human. This selfsame one is also actually God and actually man, with a rational soul and a body. He is of the same reality as God as Father, as his deity is concerned, of the same reality as we ourselves are, as far as his humanness is concerned. Thus like us in all respects, sin only accepted. Before time began, he was begotten of the Father in respect of his deity, and now in these last days for us on behalf of our salvation. This selfsame one was born of Mary the Virgin, who is God-bearer in respect of his humanness. We also teach that we apprehend the, this one and only Christ's Son, Lord, only begotten in two natures, and we do this without confusion, the two natures without transmuting one nature into the other, without dividing them into two separate categories, without contrasting them according to area or function. The distinctiveness of each nature is not nullified by the union. Instead, the properties of each nature are, are conserved, and both nature occur in one person and in one reality. They are not divided or cut into two persons, but are together the one and only begotten word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thus have the prophets of old testified, thus the Lord Jesus Christ himself taught us, thus the symbols of fathers has handed down to us. So that's the great creeds of the church. Hold on to the faith, my friend.